Where would you 3D print if you could 3D print anywhere? Well, with Jackery and Creality, you might have the chance to find out. They are running a promotional bundle where you get the Jackery 2000 Plus battery pack, a solar panel, and a Creality K1 printer for an excellent bundle price. But is this going to be enough to keep up with the demands of this? Well, I intend to find out. Well, this one's promising to be a little bit different. Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor, and in a previous video, I talked about using a portable 3D printer in a outdoor camp situation. And at the end of that video, I talked about how cool it would be if I could have a more robust 3D printing setup to use at a camp like that. And thanks to a cross promotion between Creality and Jackery, it looks like I'm going to get to figure out what that's gonna be like. Now, of course, the Jackery system can run more than just a 3D printer. It can run anything that runs off electronics. So you can be sure that in an emergency situation, you are safe, secure, comfortable, and possibly even entertained. Already, I'm running into a bit of a problem with this solar panel. It's designed to hold together with magnets, which is super cool, but it doesn't really fold out flat, which doesn't work for the, for the flip out legs that it has on the back. It needs to be completely flat. I feel like it needs some sort of like clasp on the top here to hold it flat. I'm gonna keep struggling with this and see if I can uh, get it laid out and pointed at the sun. I found this old fold out door, which promises to be only slightly better than just laying it on the ground directly. I will definitely have to come up with a better solution for that in the future, but let's see how this goes. Well, it looks like this comes with a generously long cable, which is really good, but you know what I forgot to do? Uh, I'm gonna unplug this real fast from the input, and I'm just gonna turn it on and see if it comes pre-powered and will turn on as is. Looks like I got a green light. Looks like it's already charged up to about 30%. You getting any input here, buddy? I'm trying to figure out, like, is this just too much indirect sunlight here? Do I need to closer to direct sunlight to get it to even charge? They've got a nice little targeting practical here that'll tell you when you're pointed in the right direction. Okay. There it is. Okay, we got this. All right, so what happened was there was a adapter on the back where it plugged in, and that adapter, I thought, was just to turn it 90 degrees, but it turns out that it actually changed the size of the middle plug, and I needed to use it sans adapter in order to work. So that's not a problem, just now that I know that, but it is definitely picking up a lot more power when it's actually pointed at the sun the way it's supposed to be. Okay, I think that we have got everything all set up, and at this point, there's nothing to do but wait. So here we are, two days later. Why two days? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, yesterday was a little bit too busy for doing filming. And secondly, when I came out to check the battery pack yesterday, it was only at 86%. And I did have my kids pointing the solar panel at the sun as it went around. So it was more or less getting maximum charge all day long. Now you might think, oh man, if it couldn't even charge it up in a day, that's not very good. That's not as bad as you might think. First of all, keep in mind, this is the Jackery 200 plus. So it's a larger capacity battery. And this is only a single 200 volt solar panel, which is, you know, their highest voltage on a solar panel but the, the math doesn't work out. This will hold charges for days, depending on how much you draw from it. And so it's not a question of whether or not I can run the 3D printer off the solar panel. 
It's whether the solar panel can offset the loss from the battery pack such that I can run it for longer than, than without. So overall, having this charge in two days isn't bad. And it does mean that I could potentially get this charge to full from 30% to 100% if I simply had two of these solar panels and the battery, the Jackery battery pack does allow for you to hook up two or four or even six solar panels at a time. I don't think I'm going that crazy, but it is possible. But for the next stage of testing, we're actually not going to use the solar panel at all. So let me take this floppy solar panel and fold it up. And I should mention the floppiness of this panel has been uh, kind of a problem. It's not straight. I still think that some sort of, uh, some sort of brace system would be good or you know, in the final version, which way does this fold? It folds like that, I think. In the final version, uh, I'll probably just put it on a, a uh, piece of wood or something. I'll use these holes in the side to screw it on there. And I won't rely on, you know, the floppiness whatsoever. I'll put some rigidity behind it. But this is not a part of the next experiment. I think I folded it the wrong way, so I'll turn it around. Instead, we are going to just run the Creality K1 off of the battery pack and see how much of a drain 3D printing is on this battery pack. So to start with, I'm gonna do a PLA print. That'll use the minimal amount of power. This is gonna be a long PLA print. It's gonna still take about 10 hours. So that'll give me a chance to see how much of a draw is being taken off of here. It says with just the, the printer on, it's drawing zero watts. So the screen and whatnot is so minimal that the Jackery's like, yeah, I could do this all day long. I could do this forever. I could do this for 998 hours, but we'll see how it feels once it gets going. And this will be a good print for me to see long-term how much of a draw this is, how much running this 3D printer will do. Now, I should mention that I also did install the Jackery app so that I can you know, check on this 3D printer through my phone. And I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed by the Jackery app. It provides me no additional information that I can't get by just looking at this screen here. It would have been nice if it provided me like graphs over time so that I could see how much this is drawing throughout the day or how much it's charging throughout the day or, or something. But instead it's just, it's just this interface on my phone. So I think I'm going to actually turn off the Wi-Fi so I'm not drawing power from using the Wi-Fi when this thing is just idly sitting here and not doing anything. I'll just use the screen and that'll be enough information for me. So let's see how this goes. So it's barely started. The nozzle is just getting up to temperature. It's not even up to temperature. The bed's coming up to temperature and it's, it's just running its homing procedure. And already it's saying that we are drawing 70 watts and that it's only going to be able to do this for about, well, slowing down now and saying eight hours. I'm a little bit concerned that the 10 hour print, well, now it's saying, earlier it was saying just a couple of hours, like five hours. And now it's saying, nah, I can do this for 18 hours. So we will see, I don't know, there's a chance that this might not be able to finish even this print on this much charge. But now it's saying, well, now maybe I can do it. The chest set printed great, save for a couple of pieces that didn't quite adhere to the build plate. My bad, I should have put a little bit more hairspray on there. The chess set was printed in Polymaker Pan Chroma Starlight Mars. Polymaker recently launched their Pan Chroma line, which is where they have all of their fancy filaments, the filaments with sparkles or speckles or even their silk PLA. So if you're looking for silk PLA from Polymaker, look under the Pan Chroma line for it. Big thank you to my friends at Polymaker for providing the filament for this particular build. The kids are gonna love the chess set. But at the end of the build, the Jackery was at 34% charge. So it went from 30% charge to 100% charge, charging it up on solar panel, which took two days or would have taken one day with two solar panels. And then it went from 100% to 34%, almost back to the 30%, almost using up all of the power that I had stored in it 
from the two days of charging on the solar panel, which isn't bad. That sets the expectation. Now I know about how much printing I can do with how much charging. Of course, if I had had the solar panel plugged in while it was printing, it would be, oh, just doing some back of the napkin math, only about 60%, I would think. So I, overall, I know that, well, I could run this for uh, four or five days using just solar power, power to do it with the one solar panel that I have. I definitely think that if I wanted to use this in like a Morley, I survived for a week with a 3D printer, I definitely want to get a second solar panel to do this. But after that print, I did kind of let the printer just sit here and idle plugged in with the LEDs on and it continued to drain the battery down to 20%, which actually isn't bad because the next experiment that I want to do It honestly feels weird not wearing a button-up shirt on camera. I'm all self-conscious about this. So for my last experiment, I'm going to recreate a possibly very real scenario. Let's say that I want to start a print, but I look at my battery pack and I decide I just don't have quite enough battery to finish it. Now, in this case, I'm going to be starting a very long print. There is no way 16% battery is going to be enough to finish this print on. But I think maybe if I hook up the solar panel that it will make up the difference and it will fill it back up before it runs out. We're basically doing a race to the finish. And again, in this particular scenario, there is no way that would even work. But what if I end up with like a cloudy day or something that reduces the amount of power that's going in? Basically what I want to know is if I am hooked up to the solar panel and trying to charge it while doing a print and the power runs out, is it going to just turn off the power to the 3D printer until I turn it back on, allowing it to fill itself up properly? Or is it gonna try doing like a trickle charge and just sending a little bit of power to it every once in a while, causing the 3D printer to turn on and off and on and off, possibly damaging the electronics? Now, of course, the preferred scenario in this case would be the first one where when the power runs out, it just stops and makes me turn it back on once it's at more of a charge so that I have to make the call. The less preferred option would be potential damage to the 3D printer. I don't know how this one's gonna go. I've read through the manual. I don't see anything about this case, so let's find out. I was out here trying to catch some footage because I noticed that the battery pack was at one percent and I was like well if I get if I can get you know maybe I'll catch it in the act but the problem is anytime I stood over here to catch some footage of this my shadow would be cast onto the solar panel which is sitting right over here and it would cause it to, to drop from 22 volts going in to zero volts going in and I wanted I wanted a trickle charge I wanted it to be like the lousiest sort of charge possible so I kept trying to maneuver and as I'm doing this the printer shut off the jackery turned off power to the 3d printer all the ac it shut off it is outputting nothing now the question is when it gets more power, is it going to automatically turn that back on or do I have to turn it back on? And I suspect with that light going off that I have to turn it back on, but we're gonna find out. And to expedite the charging process, we're gonna pretend like it got real sunny all of a sudden. And we're just gonna plug this in on AC. Now the manual is sure to point out that when you have AC and a solar panel hooked up, that it will prefer the power from the solar when it can get it. So, you know, it's, it's trying to be real clear. No, 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 we're, we're using the solar as much as possible, which is good, which is what I want. But uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and see if we can charge this up just a little bit faster. Oh, hold on. Did it just turn the 3D printer back on? Okay, no, that I am hearing. So when you plug in the Jackery, apparently a case fan turns on or something. So the 3D printer is still off and it's now at 1% charge. I'm gonna let it keep going for a little while and let's, let's see what happens. Okay, when it's plugged in, it's input wattage is uh, absolutely cooking. 
Yeah, can't get this with a 200 watt solar panel, but. All right, so the battery is now at 100% and it did not turn on the 3D printer on its own, which is, as I've said, the desired behavior. I get to choose when to turn it on. So at this point I can, uh, if I can find the buttons here, yeah, I can turn on, there we go, the power switch and the 3D printer will come on and I can continue this 3D print at this point. So at this point, I feel confident that not only can the Jackery 2000 Plus keep up with the demands of the Creality K1, but where it can't, the solar panel can help. Now, admittedly, I do still think that a second solar panel is going to be important going forward in this project. But at this point, I think that I've proven that this setup will work and all I need to do is start work on my maker wagon what sort of things would you put in a portable, potentially off the grid maker station? Let me know in the comments what you think I should add to my maker wagon to make sure that I can make anywhere anything that I need. And if you would like to 3D print off the grid anywhere that you are, then go ahead and check out the Jackery Creality combo deal that's going on right now there will be a link in the description where you can check it out but that's it for this video i want to thank you very much for watching and i want to remind you that you are a child of god so you're special to me so take care of yourself and if you can someone else too i just realized i forgot one very important step here hold on here we go mine now